All right, welcome everybody here on YouTube and also here in Twitch chat. We have uh, Naya Dinosaurs for our next donation deck here today. Excited to play this one because there are some new cards from the new set uh, that we have added in here that uh, we'll see how it works out. Um, we have uh, Rhythm of the Wild and Domri Chaos Bringer as like our, our two uh, real new, new cards. Rhythm of the Wild is absolutely amazing when you play it early. And it's uh, real good against the control decks. And we've been playing against a ton of control decks today. So hopefully that that pattern continues. Domri is... I've, I've always liked Domri Planeswalkers. Like, I, I really like Domri Raid, like the first one. Uh, this one is not nearly as good, of course. But um, I'm excited to play it. I haven't played it very much. And so excited here for that. Um, Vivian is, is certainly a, a much, much better card than Domri. But I play Vivian all the time in a lot of other decks, and so I'm excited to to play this. and And hopefully, we the uh, the right, you know, the ability to give our creatures riot, like we can give Carnage Tyrant riot or something, and that that works out. So we'll uh, go ahead and try some Domri here. And uh, there we go. I guess uh, that's about it. Everything else is pretty straightforward. What we got going on here. So let's. Go ahead and try to smash our opponent with some dinosaurs. Kind of decks I like to play. So I think I think here we're going to have a pretty good control matchup. I think that's what we really want to be playing against uh, with these Rim of the Wilds, the main deck, uh, Carnage Tyrants. Um, I think that, that could uh, be pretty good for us. Audio is not synced with video. Ooh. Yeah, we can get there. Let's maybe off by like a half second. Hmm. Um. I mean, I could. Yeah, see, like that's something I can't really see on my end. Let's see. Yeah, no, I, I have it I have it delayed or I, I have it fixed or I have it set manually to a, a different setting than like the the uh, I have it manually set. To uh, something else, but it's Alright, maybe try alright, how is how is this? Alright, now it should be different now. Let me know if that, that did anything to help out the audio is Domri mad because his advantage ability is a down tick and he doesn't protect himself yeah basically yep both of those so yeah gaining card advantage um, both of those uh, yeah it does doesn't protect itself but like Vivian doesn't either but yeah it doesn't it doesn't have any like interaction with the opponent really and and that yeah, whenever you whenever you minus it to to gain cards, um, it's easily attacked. It's really that like you can't really play it and plus it and gain any value from the plus for the most part. So you need to you need to untap with it for it to, to do things if you're ticking it up. So they can double block and kill something. That's going to be the, the case for other turns. I'm certainly wanting to be aggressive, so I, I don't want to just sit back and, and not trade. You know, we would just trade our creature for theirs. Doing pretty good, Zerf. Domri's not a, a win more card at all. That's that's not what a win more card is. Do not get to have a hasty Carnage Tyrant though now. Um, win more cards are are cards that are 
that are good when you're winning. Domri can, you know, you can be, you know, Domri can pull you ahead, like, whenever you're playing against a control deck by uh, finding you a lot of, like, more things with the minus ability or by, um, or giving your Carnage Tyrant haste, like, it's, it's a card that is, is good on a stable battlefield for sure, but not, not necessarily a win more. Well, we were worried about pl playing 23 lands earlier. At least, well, some, you know, people in chat are like, oh, is this two little lands for a Carnage Tyrant deck? Well, now it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we, we don't really have too much of a draw engine. Domri's kind of our, our draw engine. So, yeah, we can... We can certainly be outgrinded by uh, Soul Tie for sure. Domri taking up for Galta would be really nice. So we only get to trade with the Wild Growth Walker. Um, the trade, like, like it doesn't get better for us if we just don't attack, because they just get to grow their Wild Growth Walker even more. You know, uh, so it's like we're not going to ever really get through that. I guess I'm playing Deafening Clarion. Just got back from... Hmm, do I need to kill the walker? I guess I do. Yeah, I can't I can't kill Hydroid Crisis. Because they just getting Hydroid Crisis back is too good. Alright, got back from about 12 games with Simic Adapt, and I won all of those. Hey, that's awesome. There you go, call sign. Let's good job. Tear this place. No one knows the wilds like I do. Ugh. We're not going to be able to compete with Vivian. Alright, so binding is good against Vivian. But if, if we binding other stuff... I mean, binding is good against Krasis also. Yeah, binding is really good against Krasis. So, yeah, let's, let's bring it in. Um... Scavenger, of course, can eat a couple creatures, but the problem is Scavenger doesn't doesn't trade too well in this matchup. Aaron, thanks for the three months of great content. Thanks for resubbing there for the third month in a row, Aaron. Sub number three on the day. Thank you so much. Where we're at. Ooh, I do like Lava Coil. I really like exiling their things. Um, Spyglass is good for Vivian. Um, yeah, so that's what I was talking about. With Deathcore Scavenger, it does... You know, it is good at exiling their stuff in their graveyard, but I don't like how it trades down a lot. Um, a long time. This is still 63. I'd have to cut three more cards. I don't know what else to cut. Uh, Brontodon. They don't really have things for Brontodon to kill. I guess one Domri. We just don't have very many creatures for the minus, especially after sideboarding, after bringing in Lava Coils and Ixalan's Bindings and cutting Brontodon. I 
I think rhythm could be how we can have like explosive starts. Well, it's not a mulligan. Our 23 land deck is giving us tons of lands. After watching a weekend of Krasis getting fine finality back, maybe Kaya the Planeswalker ain't as bad as we thought. Yeah, no, it's that's a good point. Kaya has been Kaya is pretty good in this matchup. All right, we can have turn three, Registore Alpha. That's pretty good. All right, let's draw Carnage Tyrant. Come on, Carnage Tyrant, or Galta. Tyrant or Galta. How do, well does Land War Elf work with Deafening Clarion? Yeah, I'm not sure. That's something that uh, I'll certainly, certainly have a little bit of concern about. Man, Wild Growth Walker is so good. this two drop like if they just play jade light next turn we just can't attack through it and they just go to 22 uh all right good no jade light i like the community with dinosaurs draw that that should help us get you know some kind of cool dinosaur i do not like the temple garden draw got the Cost four. <clears throat> so yeah, even though they get to jump block our or they get to kill our land war elf here. We don't really need the land war elf, and it means they're not blocking the Registore Alpha or anything like that. I like turn three Alpha, turn four Galta with haste. I like that. I like turn four Galta with haste. Just turned tuned in for dinos. Very nice. Okay, we got real lucky there. Let's see if we can pull out a game three. Um, do, 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 do we want a Sunwing? Sunwing may not be bad. Thanks, yeah, you can find the playlist, music playlist here if you'd like. I kind of want to play Sunwing. And I think I want to play it over Domery, actually. I don't think I want Domery on the draw. I think I just want to try to go with the, the Dino plan. We have, like, Rhythm to give our creatures Riot. I like how Sunwing can fly over and also hurt their blockers and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. Poor Domri. Yeah, Deathcore Scavenger, I was talking about this earlier, Deathcore Scavenger is good graveyard hate in the matchup, but the problem is... Um, we've had this this planes in our opening hand. There's one planes in the deck. We've had it in our hand all three times. Uh, if we d if this was a forest, we could we could probably keep this. Ooh, this is gonna be this is a good hand. Um, anyway, uh, the problem with Death Gorge Scavenger is it's usually trading with an explore creature, and I don't I don't necessarily like that that trade like the three two body is pretty small um you know can't really get through wild growth walker for example
Midnight Reaper. All right, they're keeping the Reaper. All right, we're gonna need to draw our Register Alphas, Carnage Tyrants. Got to get our big things. That's not a good draw. We're only a 23 land deck. We don't need more of them. We don't need a fifth. Oh my gosh. It's not what we need. I'd even take a lava coil. Savage Stomp. Take basically anything. Except for another land. Coil that crisis. Okay. That's not another land. It's a little late. It would have been nice before. Like they just drew a bunch of cards. Like they have. There's a better chance they have. Um. Better chance they have removal for it. I know we're real close to dying and like the attack is a little risky there but we need to try to take a risk to to win like with that Galta and stuff no attack how are they not attacking they have a 4-4 four, four flyer and I'm at 8 Would you like to see what's left of Scala? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Yep, too many lands, not enough mans. Yeah, Chupacabra really holds these kind of decks back, uh, for sure. Chupacabra is really good. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Golgar is just going to be a really tough matchup for us to beat. They do the creature thing a lot better than us. We have to have our, our good curves. You know, we have, we have to curve out uh, to win. And after, you know, we, we had, you know, turn two Sunwing, turn three Raptor, Ripjaw, turn four Ripjaw. You know, like, we're doing fine. Uh, but then turn five, six, seven, and eight, we didn't have a single thing. Like, we didn't play a single card. And we, we can't do that. Can't do that. But when we curve out with big hasty dinosaurs, we can win. That's what we need to do. I think the Domri would have been better than the... Yeah, the Domri would have been better. Um, though, than that Sunwing. So... So that was unfortunate. Uh, the Domri minus probably, you know, would have been when I would have been able to clear out. There we go. Speaks me English. Would have, would have been able to clear out a whole lot of lands. All right, let's get some defense. I 
I guess I could have played Domri tick up and then a 2 2 land war elf. How we get counters on those things? How about Vivian in the sideboard? I don't hate that. I mean, Vivian's awesome. All right, so they have like the one mana give your thing plus two plus two card. So I'm just gonna double block. Or not. What a dead weight. Sure. So this doesn't untap during your untap step. Whenever you gain life, untap it. Hmm. Any suggestions for a Plaza of Harmony replacement in Gates decks? Uh, I guess you just play Basics. You, you want the untapped land there, so I guess you just play Basics. If you gotta replace that. Because I know that is a rare. If I go Domri... If I go Dom, the pro, if I go Domri plus ramp, then they can just kill Domri. Um, if, if I go Domri plus, I I have to like chump block. So I'm just, I'm just gonna play the ramp spell, and. Have Carnage Tyrant for the next turn. Vivian could kill that. That thing doesn't have lifelink, does it? Okay, no good. So they have to gain life to untap that thing. I've never played against this Famish Paladin before. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty good. I want to kill this Resplendent Angel. Get that out of here. With me being at nine. Uh oh. So I'm, I'm sitting back because it, it, my opponent is incentivized to attack with these creature tokens for different reasons, not only for the Paladin, but then also for the Vanguard, or for, sorry, for the Adanto, uh, the Legion's Landing. So that's why I was sitting back with my dinosaurs. And that's why I played Galta instead of Tomri to have another blocker. Uh, of course, playing the Ajani's Pride Mate, it just incentivizes them farther, further to attack there. At least Domri's minus ability wouldn't have wouldn't gain us anything. Would have got like one land war elf maybe. You call it anarchy, and it's done. just business as Everything's usual. in the right place. All right, we got land war elf plus a ripjaw raptor by casting the commune first. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Uh-oh. We need to draw Deafening Clarion. Deafening Clarion 
would be really nice. Because the lifelink on Deafening Clarion in particular. We got three of them in the deck. I don't think we saw any of them. I don't think either of those was a Clarion. Oh, I guess we're drawing a land. Uh, things are about to get real rowdy. If going to uh, block like that, I should have been attacking more. All right, we're in a pretty decent spot. Yeah, Domri... I mean, Domri could, e could easily be a minus two and not a minus three to refill the hand. Ah, these go here, those go there. I guess it's just such a feels bad. Uh Hmm. That feels bad. All right, so we lose, we lose one life. I wonder if I should attack with the Carnage Tyrant also, and just trade with the Ajani's Pride Mate there, because their their Pride Mate is just getting bigger. Yeah, I, I want to play Domri too, but when you compare Domri to Vivian, it's just, it's so sad how they made Domri. Yeah, Vivian is really good. Real good. I think we're, we're still doing good here, though. Still doing just fine. Really want to draw another Carnage Tyrant next turn with haste, or of course, Deafening Clarion, like always. So I go to three. I think I have to block the token. I have to kill the token instead of the pride mate. Even though the pride mate's gonna be a 4 4, the token's gonna be a 2 2. Because the the lifelink and pinging us with the, with the life king. Domri would. Yeah, Domri would certainly be better if you have a. a well, I don't know if you really need the lower curve. You just you need a lot more creatures. Um, you know, we have a lot of spells in the deck. You need a lot more creatures. But I think just kind of at any point, Vivian's going to be a better card.
So they, they block these. All right, draw a couple cards. There's a Ripjaw Raptor. Our 23 land decks, really liking these lands today. Hey, Narinen. We're playing some some new decks, and I'm I'm glad we're playing some new new donation decks here. But we haven't been doing haven't been doing the best though. And struggle on a bit. Um, so they just need to attack with any vampire to make a, a life linker. So then the life linkers can kill me. But of course, if they attack with a vampire, then I get to block with Carnage Tyrant. All right. Well, this is it. Gotta win this turn. Because of how the, the lifelink stuff will kill us. Or at least if the Epicure of Blood dies, we have a chance. Remember, we are going to be drawing a card with Ritual Raptor, so even if we don't kill them, we'll uh, be able to get a, hopefully get a blocker, that is. But we got him. All right. No, it would have been a draw, because... The the triggers to make us lose a life would have would have gone on the stack after the damage was dealt, so they would be they would be dead, and then they would trigger to like kill us if they had another lifelink creature. All right, so the sun wings make their things ETB tapped. Coils have got to be good. I kind of like Colossus. In this matchup. <laughs> yep, never worried. Thanks, Foxy. Um, these aren't really Domri and Rhythm. Like Rhythm's not very good against the aggro decks. I guess I'll, I'll keep Domri because it can give us card advantage. Do we really need the card advantage? Maybe not. Play around settle post board? That's certainly possible. Let's get these collision... Collision Colossuses in here. Because we've seen them... Like, they have, like, Resplendent Angel, so, like, if they have the Flyer, we can kill it, or we can Colossus and mess up a block. And give like a Riptal Raptor trample. Yeah, you just play another another game. Best of three. It's not really best of three. It's first to two wins. So if you draw a game, you just you know, and then you win one, lose one. You go to a, a fourth game because that's what it's technically first to two wins. All right, looking for a white source. Not finding the white source. But Carnage Tyrant? I probably shouldn't be greedy and just take a land because I already have double Registor Alpha. I really need one more land though. We have triple Registor Alpha. Because Alphas do put seven power and seven 
7 power and toughness in, but this is trample. You think I should just go land? Why am I saying land? Oh wait, I only have three lands. I don't have four lands. Never mind, I only have three. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Let's get a land. I don't. I thought I had four. I miscounted. Yeah, we need to take a land. Collision Colossus has been an all-star in my Jun sideboard ever since the new set. Okay, that's good to know. Really glad we took our land right about now. Drawing Dino into Dino. I like that animation. The dusk rose. That's pretty cool. So I know I could migration to get the white source for Clarion, but I like just getting some Riptar Raptors in play. Riptar Raptors are are really good to Clarion. Uh, you know, you get to draw cards with them. The Siege Flyno. It's your favorite M19 card? Nice. Nobody plays Sovereign? Not with that attitude. I should probably be attacking with that Riptar Raptor there. Cause is this any creature? Yeah, that's any creature dies. Put a counter on it. I don't really want to put a counter on that thing. I'm very glad it didn't attack now. Because that would be... It would be too big. Heck yeah, Clarion Ripjaw next time. So this is going to make three tokens, though. His power was three. Oh, really? There's the lava coil. Rip off. Trade to rip draw for two of these. I didn't attack with the Brontodon also because if they just took it and didn't block, um, they may like attack back with all three to try to, to flip their legions landing. And then in, in that case, I would be able to sacrifice the Brontodon to kill their landing. I, do, I guess if they block though, they can't attack with three things. So I should have just attacked with Brontodon. No. No, I like not attacking. We're good. Hmm. 
Colossus. Bzz. Time to attack. This is the, you know, the, the very important battle for Mixalon of dinosaurs versus vampires. They're very adamant how much dinosaurs and vampires don't like each other. They blocked the 3-3 three, three trample creature instead of, like, the 3-4 that doesn't have trample. Yeah, I thought Ixalan was a cool block. I liked Ixalan block a lot. Isn't Colossus too good for two mana? No. No, I don't think so. So I'm, I'm certainly considering sacrificing this Bronzodon and killing the Fountain of Renewal so they don't just get to put a bunch of counters on this Johnny's Pride mate. I think I'm going to do that. No, I don't think Colossus is too good. We had to see the cool Dusk Rose animation again. Yeah, you can find the decks right there. Exclamation point decks. Streamdecker.com slash dex slash Todd Stevens MTG. You're welcome. I know you're talking about the Mardu Angels deck. Um, I certainly want to. I want to add Takali Honor Guard in there. And I haven't decided whether over the, the Tithe Taker or the Adanto Vanguard. Um, I'm kind of feeling it over the Vanguard as the two drop. Yeah, is Colossus, does Colossus win here? I didn't, I didn't count it up. That'd be seven. That's what I was about to just start doing. Seven, 11, 15, 18, 21. Yeah. And there we go. Oh, you still have the four Adanto sideboard for control matchups? I I don't yeah I'd, I'd just rather have other cards in the sideboard I, I feel like that kind of takes up too many slots um, there so yeah but I I think I'm just gonna be taking out the Adantos for the honor guards which the angel decks do you like as far as competitiveness for a standard FNM tournament yeah the Mardu Angels deck it's the one that we've done the best with so far. Um, yeah, I like it quite a bit. We've gotten five wins every time we've played it on here. We are going first. This is kind of a slow, awkward hand. Hopefully we, hopefully we draw one more land. You know, we can't actually cast these Thunderherd migrations yet. Shock land? Uh, not a shock land. Um, I'm excited to try out the Esper Angels deck that we're about to uh, play next. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, Takali's awesome against Sultai, and and with the new I'm just playing this thing with the new Esper midrange deck. That's that's also pretty popular. Takali Honor Guard is really good there as well. And this hand is a riot. You got syncopated. Yep, Esper Angels. That's what we got up next. Stick around there. I am not. Hold that thought. Bleh.
I can certainly see them tucking the rhythm of the wilds. Yep. Let's take it back. Where are the lands at? So they likely have a counter spell here. I think I'd rather have Domri get countered than Rhythm of the Wild. I'm not 100% sure about that though. But if for some reason they don't have a counter spell, like I think they're going to counter either one of those. If, if they don't have a counter, then um, Domri on the battlefield at least would let us cast the alpha next turn. Okay, we got the rhythm in play. We have a hasty Ripjaw Raptor next turn. Hurry! That can kill it to fairy. <clears throat> Haste. All right, deck, help us draw some lands. Gotta get to this Carnage Tyrant. Keep up the pace. All three on the bottom. It's a pretty good card. You get to dig six cards. Gates are legit. Yeah, I think gates are pretty legit. Yeah, where's all the excessive lands now, right? There we go. Reggie. Lame. My poor Rhythm of the Wild. They're discarding Teferi. Let's skip to the good part. I haven't beat Gates on Arena yet, not once. I think the only times I've beaten Gates on Arena is when I was playing Gates. Doesn't look good for us. Them getting three cards a turn between their draw step to fairy and uh, as Kanta. We need to move quick. And they just have they have enough mana to, to play all their cards. So it's not like they're not bottlenecked on mana at all. Sorry I'm late. Keep up the pace. Pretty surprised they didn't activate Ascanta with the double untap. Like, activate Ascanta once and then untap some other stuff.
So we'll see how many Kai's Wraths they have. I've already used one. They've used two. Or at no least two are in their break. graveyard. That's a good sign. There's a third. They basically get to see all the cards in their library by now. Yeah, they probably have all four. But, yeah, they can see their entire library. Hold that thought. Yeah, like, they've gone through all of it with Azkanta by now. You can't stop to ferry. You can only fight. You can fight creatures. You can't fight planeswalkers with Savage Stomp. Do they not have like a win condition in their deck? Like, do they have a Chromium? I assume they have like one Chromium. My worst defeat. We got all of our lands now. We were stuck on three or four for a while, but we haven't drawn a non land a long time after that. But of course, we had like the Thunderherd migrations that help us get lands out and everything, too. Alright, so they're down. So three Teferis are out of here. Yeah, three Teferis are out of there. Because, like, a, like, Chromium races us. We can't beat Chromium. There's Teferi number four. Hurry! Discarding Absorb. I don't think discarding a, Only a matter of time. Discarding a life gain card is where you want to be. Alright, and finally there's Chromium. They have to have just a ton of counter spells in their hand. Dragon, the dragon beat the dinosaur. 
Okay, so I do not want binding because of mortify. I do, I do want cinder vine. Right, we just deal one damage to them a bunch. Just trades with like a, a mortify or something. Inspire these deafening clarions. Um, spyglass, of course. Hmm. Think Collision Colossus over Savage Stomp. So they have like Lyra Dombringer. We can just kill it. We don't need to try to like fight it. And try to have our creature dead. Your Galt is kind of slow, but there's nothing really else to put in. I mean, Death Gorge Scavenger. I don't know, slows down Search for Escanta, I suppose. Like a three mana four three. I don't think we saw any chemistry's insights from them. No, they they didn't play a chemistry's insight as far as I can r remember. You know, they had like the five mana. They had a bunch of the five mana scry three draw three. Yeah, I mean, I guess Scavenger is better than Galta, right? Yeah, Galta just isn't going to do anything for us. They did play Chemisters? Okay. I'm going to trade Trim 1 Migration. And get these Scavengers in there. That's a good point. They discard Teferi to a Chemisters Insight. Yeah, that's a good point. Yep. Yep, I remember that now. I've had a lot of problems with drawing rhythm late and hating it, so I added find finality in a similar list. I don't even think the splash for finality is necessary. That's not a bad idea. Find finality is a good card. Yeah, just get get your things back whenever they kill you. Like they they wrath your board, you get your things back. Hey, big koala. Um. All right, let's get as much mana out as soon as possible. We'll have like Ripjaw next turn. And I, I think like the points of pinging them is better than, you know, playing commune with the dinosaurs. Sure got our lands this game. Hmm. Donation, another donation deck after Angels by chance? Um, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. I could, I could certainly see the Angels deck. Um, I could see the Angels deck kind of taking a while though. But yeah, certainly, certainly possible. I don't know right now. Okay. So I was waiting for Akaya's Wrath. So like that whole time, uh, I wasn't playing the Carnage Tyrant because I was waiting for the Kaya's Wrath. 
uh, to clear the battlefield of like the little creatures. And when they were tapped out, I, I got to resolve Registor Alpha. So even though I played a Registor Alpha second main phase uh, that one time, it was because they were tapped out. And so, you know, I didn't have to worry about the Alpha getting countered. Um, so that's what we did there. Yeah, it's so cold outside. I'm, I'm pretty cold just sitting here, too. You're about to craft the Esper Angels deck? Ooh, nice. I haven't played it yet. I'm, ex I'm excited to uh, excited to play it, though. All right, they're at six cards. Negative 40 wind chill there tomorrow? Oh, dang. Uh. So I want a migration and get the red source for Rhythm of the Wild. We haven't really had much of a chance to. Yeah, you know, like, we're trading one for one, um, which is certainly acceptable. We just don't want them to play Teferi. Good, no Teferi is awesome. We get the double pump. We get the 5-4 five, five, hasted uh, Death Gorge Scavenger. Get the pump for the ETB effect and the attack effect. That's awesome. The Teamer, Teamer Gates deck is, is pretty good. We've always had pretty good success with it. Alright, Reggie. Rhythm of the Wild is a good card. I, I don't really play Commander. Um, I have like my friend group back in Texas likes Commander a lot, so whenever I'm whenever I'm home, I play Commander with them and use their decks and stuff. Uh, if I move back, I'll likely get into Commander then because of that. So I just have one card in hand. Ah. Uh, Dang, we drew one of our only cards that can get countered. Whew. Big Llanowar Elf. So... It's going to be a 2-2. Two, two. Do I want 2-2 two, two with haste or just a 3-3? Three, three? Like, 2-2 two, two with haste, it takes, like, five turns to kill my opponent. I think I just want a 3-3 three, three Llanowar Elf, honestly. Because 3-3 three, three would take four turns now. You know, like, the one turn we played and then three other turns. So, we're actually speeding the, the clock up by a turn by making it a 3-3. Three, three. But we also get zero guaranteed damage in. Uh, which the guarantee damage is valuable against our opponent. 
uh, because it's valuable when you have other haste creatures that can come on in. deck. Ugh, so much mana. Oh, and they found Teferi, which of course has Kanto's going to do. Kanto sees so many cards. You know what? Trust me. You'll thank me later. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Great draw. Good job, deck. There we go. Carnage, Tyrant. Haste. 1-1 one, one counter. Haste to Carnage, Tyrant. That's game. Whew. That was a close one. That was a close one. If they had his absorb, they still could have absorbed it um, and gained three life, even though the spell would not have been countered. All right, two and one. Beat the Esper control deck. Dinos are not done yet. We get another match. And the two win plateau is really nice because that, that gets you the entry fee back. You get two wins with these things. All right, we got an early rhythm. Building a, a rhythm Vanifar deck? I do, yeah. I like rhythm Vanifar. Yeah, Esper Angels, I think, will be pretty good. I think the Angel package with uh, Dive Down, Negate, that kind of stuff will be pretty good. Twenty and 31 subs. Oh, don't just flood out and deck. Hey, Gatsby. All right, if you are, uh, if you've been liking the stream, would like to help support me as a full-time streamer, consider hitting that subscribe button. Put a link there in the chat. So when you get access to 19 awesome emotes, we're at three subs on the day. So two more subs will be cracking open a pack. Hoi Kanoi! Joining the hype. Thank you so much, Hoi Kanoi. So there's sub number four. And we are now down to... I think that should move us back back to 30. Subs needed. Yep, just updated. Go ahead. Beg for mercy. Frasca. I'm listening. Frasca gets killed at Rhythm of the Wild, unfortunately, for us. Still have their uses. Ooh. Reggie's a good draw. I won't forgive this. Reggie into Carnage Tyrant. And Turp King getting the sub from 600. Thank you so much, 600. That's very kind. All right, so that's that's five subs. So we're cracking open a pack right after this. Uh oh. That is that's pretty scary. All right, we could use deafening Clarion. Is that scary? They could have Registore Alpha this next turn. Well, at least we know we're putting three lands at the bottom of the, of the library. Well, dang, they're going to have our own Registore Alpha now. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, then... Yeah, we're pretty close to doing the next 12-hour streams, and so, yeah, I bet it... I bet Best of Three Ranked will be online whenever we get there. Um... Because, yeah, 29 subs here, or also, remember, uh, whenever we get to 1,500 subs on YouTube, every 500 YouTube followers, I'm doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate. So our, the next goal there is is 1,500. Put a link to the YouTube channel where we have all of the upload, all the, um, all of the replays. And speaking of YouTube, I have not been, I have been forgetting to post those up. I haven't been good at that the for today Rakdos audience is ready to go let me get I need to finish getting Rakdos audience up all right so we just trade Ripjaw with Regisaur draw card yeah we just trade four five for four four and draw or not Rakdos audience. Is it the 28th or 29th? 29th. This dinosaur is an endangered animal. Endangered species over here. You can't just be killing our ex endangered species opponent. What do they think they're doing? If cast down is all they have for this turn, they could have just used mana. Okay, no, they have contempt also. I was going to say they could have just used the mana, grow the druid, druid, cast down. But it wasn't. Alright, Rakdos audience is up on YouTube. Now let's get Wars Off Control going. Let's get that uploading. That's probably a pretty risky double block there. I'm not gonna, we don't need to do it. They have another removal spell. We just get two for one. I've lost so much already. I this was the match more. that we lost before. Meet my newest friend. Um, Golgari. You know, this is Sultai, but, you know, whatever, same thing. This is just going to be... Yeah, like, they just do the, the creature thing also, but they just have so much more card advantage. And Hostage Takers and Chupacabras are really tough to deal with. So I want Binding, Coil, Brontodon. I guess I, I'm going to try the Scavengers. Spyglass for Vivian. No, they have Small Vraska also. Yeah, we can take out Galta. Um, I don't know. Galta, Galta is kind of like how we can win. We don't have a whole lot of ways to win, but Galta is one way. Let me just take out some of these Thunderherd migrations. Seems we're flooding out a whole lot. The one game we did win against Golgari was because of Galta. We had Regisaur Alpha out and had just a haste a haste Galta. And you know, we have Rhythm, Domri, we have a lot of ways to give Galta haste. Yeah, Galta being hex hexproof would be nice. Thoughts on Atali with Rhythm. Atali is nice with Rhythm. Yeah, Tali's really nice there. 
being able to activate it immediately. That's always pretty interesting. What do you think about ranging raptors in the deck? I wonder if ranging raptors would be maybe a little better than the thunder herd migration. So, you know, another creature that Domri gets to minus and find. The fact that it costs three mana is a little rough, though. You know, we just don't have a lot of things that we do early in the game. Yeah, Ranging Raptor or Stomp, or even Clarion kills it, but then you go get a land. But, like, if you if you put a counter on Ranging Raptors with Rhythm, then it doesn't die to Clarion. I tried it in Gruel Stompy with poor results before, but it could be nice here. Yeah, Zatalpa costs way too much. We can't... Yeah, you can't, can't have Zatalpa, unfortunately. But it doesn't seem like it costs too much with how... how uh, how much mana we've had on these, though. Do you think Esper Control should main deck Mortify and Kaya's Wrath? Absolutely. No more Growth Chamber Guardians. Uh, rest of that question is... Mogwai's list didn't and he made top 150, but they seem good. Thanks for advice. Yeah. No, I absolutely love Mortify and Kai's Wrath. Myself. Right, Riptar Raptors is, is a lot better when you have a land of war, but if you don't have a land of war, not as good. Um, so they, they're certainly just going to have removal spell here. Do I want, which one of these do I want getting removal spelled? I guess I would rather have Scavenger get removal spelled. Do I even need to have, yeah, we're, we're hasting. Uh, correct. Angel of Grace does not trigger Resplendent Angel. Well, I guess what part? Like the, if you're at like four and you have an Angel of Grace in, in your graveyard and you use the six mana ability to reset your life total to ten, that would be gaining six life and that would trigger Resplendent Angel. Changing your life is considered gaining so I guess the answer is yes. It, you know, you have to gain at least five life, so you have to be at five or less and then trigger it. So yeah, those do trigger. Hydroid. Hope no Eldritch are born. We can Galta next turn. Oh, even yeah, consume with Resplendent Angel. That is really nice. I hadn't really thought about that with consume triggering Resplendent Angel. So yeah, exactly. JW says that life changing is classified as life loss or gain when you change your life total. Yeah, you're right, we could... Yeah, we can Ripjaw and... Galta. And there we go. See, that's why we need Galta. We gotta be able to have haste Galtas. That's how we win this game. You know, we don't win a long game. We gotta have... So we can't... I don't think we can board out Galta. 
Mythic ranking with Mardu Angels. Awesome. Way to go, Captain Darkness. Yeah, this looks basically the exact same as match one, right? Like, uh, we lose game one. Game two, we just run them over with Hey Skalta. But then last time we lost game three, so let's hopefully not lose game three. I'm, I am sideboarding a little different, not having the Sunwing in, having Domri. Do we want to just, like, Colossus also? Like, they try blocking our things, and we just Colossus them? I mean, the League rewards are a little worse, but I don't I don't think it's really that bad. I think that the gold is still pretty good. Actually, I kind of like Colossus, just to, to run them over when they try blocking with stuff. Maybe two rhythm? Uh, zero Thunder Herd? We probably need Thunder Herd on the draw. Hmm. <clears throat> yep. Uh, yeah, Rhythm of the Wild is basically the new fires of Yavimaya. So commune only gets dinosaurs as far as creatures go. We cannot commune and, and find a land or elf, for example, which would be kind of nice. Um... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Shade, he's talking about like like this event that I'm playing in here, uh, where it's a thousand gold to enter and you play until you either win five or lose two. We have that one Thunderherd migration, so smart. It's the one time we want the Thunderherd migration is on turn two. I don't want to play the Land War Elf, so we can Carnage Tyrant next turn. Because I feel like if I play Ripjaw, they're likely just going to kill it. They could have like, they could have like Hostage Taker and take my Land War Elf and cast it right away, which would be annoying. I guess I'd, I should just cast the Ripchaw Raptor. Okay. That's good for us. We can in Colossus to kill Vivian. And they block, they block with Jade Light Ranger to protect their Vivian. And we get to draw a card. Do they just tick up and get nothing? Pretty sure they just ticked up and got nothing. Block, block, block. Come on, you can block. Go ahead, you can do it. Dang it. Ha. 
I've seen worse. Like, didn't they just take out Vivian and get nothing? Because I think that that island was revealed to the Jade Light Ranger. Like, they they revealed two lands because it's a 2-1. So I think they just put, like, four spells on the bottom. What card in Blue Red Drake sideboard is better against White Weenie or similar decks? Shivan Fire, Entrancing Melody, Raptor Hatchling. I think. I think Raptor Hatchling. I think. Uh, Fiery Cannonade is, is, is definitely good. Tyrant time. I'm not exactly sure though. I don't play a whole lot of Is it Drakes, and by a whole lot I mean I don't really play the deck. So I'm, yeah, so I'm not 100 percent sure. Is there a way to disable the auto target choosing for spells? Like like lava coil automatically targets kind of thing? What I'm not sure what what do you mean there? And and does anybody have like a good answer? Maybe somebody else in chat has an answer for real Tommy there with the auto auto target for spells. Three, four, five, six. So they can block with everything to kill a tyrant. Hmm. Or I like coil the Jade Light so they cannot, and then attack, and then play Land War Elf. And then I'm not playing my other Tyrant. I just don't like casting only Lava Coil this turn. Basically just la Lava Coil and War Elf. Yeah, we got to take out three creatures. Um, but that's not that's not really how we win though. Uh, those All those creatures didn't really matter too much. Ugh. That's bad for me. Alright, well now I need to... I think I need to get rid of this Incubation Druid. Certainly need to get rid of that Incubation Druid. That's a card I want. Hmm. Maybe I just kill Jade Light? Let's see, they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... No. Dang, they're the land anyway. So they get to gain, get to draw three, gain three. No, all, 
yeah, no, all the counters are happening. You you can't collusion like if they would have done it for seven, you can't you can't do that afterwards. I like that block. We'll deal six to the flyer. And now we get to trample over for four more. They were playing around that card. Collision. They were playing around the Colossus part by double blocking. Hey, there's sub number six on the day, Will Bread. Welcome to the stream. Oh no, another another crisis. All right, hostage taker takes a Lanamore Elf. All right, looks like we're still at twenty nine. There. Reggie! Reggie! Ugh. Attack! We've drawn... Yeah, we had three really good draws there at the end of the game with Colossus, Carnage, Tyrant, and Registore Alpha for our last three draws. Alright! We, we defeated the Sultai Menace! That's one... Didn't think we were going to win that. My opponent just took it like a man. Yeah, they they knew the game was over. All right, three and one. So it's pack time. We got to five subscribers there during that last match. So let's crack it open a pack. Let's get a pack. Um, so I, I checked, and I'm, I'm out of rares for Ravnica Allegiance. The only thing I need left are Mythics. So I think... I think cracking open Ravnica Allegiance packs doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense when all the rares would just be gems. Uh, we only need mythics. Plus, we are, we're going to get this for weekly rewards for the next couple months. So we're not going to get Ravnica Allegiance packs anymore. Uh, Guilds of Guilds of Ravnica. I only have there's one Firemind's Research is the only card I need left in Guilds of Ravnica. Um, got all the mythics and everything. No. That doesn't mean I only get mythics. That means that if, if it's a rare, I just get 20 gems um, because there's no other rares to replace it with. The, the rares don't get replaced with mythics, though. All right, let's, let's go and get the, the guilds around and go back. Let's try to get this Firemind's Research. Let's get our last card that we need in the set. Hopefully it's not a mythic. No, it was a mythic. No. So we just got 40 gems. No. I wanted to finish off the set and have the set completely finished. Risky business there. <laughs> yeah, because we basically used, um, you know, we used a thousand gold to get forty gems, which a thousand gold pays for an entry fee with this, but like a hundred, like basically the thousand gold is like the same as two hundred ninety gem or two hundred gems, so. So yeah. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. I'd rather just be streaming, G-Gen. I like streaming. And so we're just staying home streaming. Yeah, so these communes can um, turn into some extra lands for us. We're certainly going to need at least one more land. All right, and let's just go ahead and take the uh, white source right now. All right, so that's four li or three other lands on the bottom. There we go. You'll get GRN packs for end of season rewards, though. Oh, I guess I guess if I do start playing, if I do play any, do 
Do I want that Ripjaw Raptor or the land? Probably the land again. Yeah, that, that's a good point. If I do play um, any ranked stuff, then I'll get a Guilds of Ravnica pack. Right, we opened the Tajik, Pedro. But yeah, I, I didn't realize I was missing a Fire Mines research also. No, I've I've played some I've played some limited, but not the ranked limited. I've just played the the best two out of three, or sealed. Neither of those are like I haven't done the ranked draft. Bant colors. I've actually never played any ranked match on arena before. I am still. I guess bronze level four on both. Hmm. I played to Mythic and Best of One, it was atrocious. Yes. Not sure that's something I want to be doing. Man. No, we're just playing Domri. Let's do it. Like, I wanted to kill the... I wanted to play the Brontodon. There we go. I was going to say, I wanted to play the Brontodon to kill the Conclave Tribunal, but... No, like, we're, we're playing some Dinosaurs. Let's, let's play some Domri. Domri get us two Regis. That was awesome. All right, let's just start playing Reggie's. Before you get your teeth kicked in. Rude. Draw card. Love the rhythm of the wild that we can play that and not have our creatures countered. Yeah, and we, yeah, certainly wanted to fight there because I wanted to attack them and I don't want them to be able to attack back at Domri. So, yeah, lots of lots of good re reasons to attack there. They're tapped out. Hmm. So if I play... If I play Rhythm, I cannot play Reggie also. Oh, you're gonna hurt when this is through. Bzz. Hey, Magic Harry. All right, they're just they're just passing. Hmm. I didn't really expect that to resolve. Are they just going to have Settle? Hmm. 
Thanks, We Are Spawn. Watch your YouTube channel last night when I was at work. It was entertaining. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you think it's March of the Multitudes? They get seven creatures. March is tough for me to beat. I don't. I don't know if I beat March. Attack with the tokens only. I'm certainly attacking with Ripjaw Raptor. I don't know if attacking with the tokens make a lot of sense because they get to double block them. I think I'm just attacking with Ripjaw. Yeah, March and Tristani. Still good. So we get to take out two tokens. But we got good blockers for the tokens. We didn't, you know, throw away a bunch of other other cards. Whatever your plans, they're statistically I likely to good fail. assault. This Tristani is just wrecking me pretty bad. We don't necessarily get a Galta. A little pick me up before the problem with minusing Domri right there is it's, it dies to the token. I do have Clarions, yeah. Oh gosh. That's bad. Yeah, we have three Clarions in our deck. They were drawn to. Cause that that's bad because that means Domri is gonna die here. I was I was like, you know, like I was gonna be minusing Domri this next turn. An anomaly not to be repeated. Man, Tristani is so good. Oh, you haven't seen the last of me. And the Thunderheart migration is just kind of a bad card because we know like look at all these lands down at the bottom of our library and I don't remember what those cards were but I don't think they were any good it's like I don't I don't want to shuffle my library I don't want to shuffle all that stuff back back into my library hey track team day's going pretty good we have we've had a lot of good donation decks uh, I mean that's that's all we're doing here today is playing 
uh, some different different stuff. Double history of Benalia. Wow. All right, now we need to shuffle. Got to shuffle. We got those those two clarions down at the bottom. Yeah, we could have saved. Yeah, sorry. Before, uh, yeah, we could have saved Domri by sacrificing our bronze on, but that um. You know, that Domri would not have still been all the minus because it would have only been at two. And I, I could have, you know, at any time I can sack the Bronsodon to, to destroy one of these um, things. But I don't think we're really there yet. So we have, we have 35. There's three. We have three. Uh, we have three Clarions in our deck. Out of these 35 cards, it looked like we had like two on top basically that we just got rid of because of the commune with the dinosaurs there. This is not looking great for us, but we have some, some big creatures, but they just have so many of these tutus that are lifelinkers. Yeah, the opponent's playing like, it's like kind of like a, it's like a Selesnya tokens bank control kind of um, hybrid. Yep, we're dead. Need our opponent to block with more things. They didn't. Alright, do we got any more Clarions in the sideboard? Nope. Gotta kill Tristani. Not, not having very much removal for Tristani really hurts uh, that game. Yeah, so, I, yeah, I guess we're just playing coils. I kind of like Sunwing, honestly. I 
I don't think I want Cindervine for Conclave Tribunal. I don't think so. And I don't don't want Scavenger. I don't think I really want the rest of these cards. Like they every single card like could be good in different scenarios, but I don't think we really need any of them. Uh Domri was good for us that game. But I think I'm taking Domri out. They can Because of how they can attack Domri. You know, just trim these Thunderherd migrations. We trim those. Yeah, we have like the coils to do on turn two. Seems like we've had enough lands without those. One Domri. They don't have any enchantment removal. You know they're they're playing Conclave Tribunal, right? Conclave Tribunal gets rid of an enchantment. They played multiple of those. Whoa! Did I run out of time? I guess I ran out of time. Hmm. That's not good. No, so that means we're go we're playing our main deck again. It doesn't just it doesn't just give you whatever you had sideboarded. It you just play your main deck again. So we didn't we didn't make any changes. So there is a chance. Um, so basically, do I want to shock in for the commune turn one or not? There's. Go ahead and do it. There's a chance we draw uh, Thunderherd Migration for turn two. That'd be like our best turn two draw. Yeah, I need to realize that we were running out of time. I like our hand though, especially if we get two more lands and get to these alphas. You know, like, Hasty Galta, potentially, here. Let's draw some lands. Let's get some lands. Alright, land number one. They went and discarded a Tristani to end step because they missed a land drop. All right, we're going on to game three. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't been sleeping too well last four or five days or so. But... So I don't want all the coils. So I think this is what we're going to do. So we're bringing in Sunwing. I actually think I do like Binding. I think Binding a Conclave Tribunal actually would be kind of nice. I'm going to have two coils. Because coil, I basically want to just coil Tristani. But there's not other things I really necessarily want to coil. We take out the migrations. We trim a Domri. And then this is where we were at before, the 61 cards. For the last slot, let's go with... Maybe another Domri. I'm not sure what the other card I want to take out of the deck. Um, I like how Tyrant tramples over stuff. Do I want Colossus to trample over these tokens? Ooh. What if I play Colossuses? One Colossus. Colossus does sound pretty good here. Alright, so that's where I'm at right now. Do we want the second Colossus? I got 20 seconds. Um, 
No, we'll have the one Colossus. Okay. But yeah, like they chump lock a lot, and that could help out our creatures not get chump locked. Um, or, you know, help, help our creatures survive, all that kind of stuff. Ooh, I like it. Sunwing does kind of die to this Deafening Clarion. And Deafening Clarion is not a card we're playing right away. Uh, however, Deafening Clarion now looks like a card we can play right away. And also drawing the Rhythm means we can make the Sunwing a 3-4 also, so... Alright, good. Now we don't have to worry about our creatures getting countered anymore. Because I can just play Ripjaw next turn, have that on defense before Clarion. Not even attacking with the token. This March of the Multitudes end step. This looks like March of the Multitudes. And then, and then untap Tristani. Yeah, this looks like March. Yeah, they're marching for three. I, w I really wouldn't mind if they end step Tristani. I guess I take ten, but the Clarion is would be sweet. I don't want them to counter my Clarion. Alright, deal. 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 Boom. Uh, let me draw a card. Let me draw a card. That card wasn't good enough. Let me let me get that card draw. <laughs> Talk about a good turn right there. Alright, this is probably Frilled Mystic. Their opponent has available. I'm just going to play the Carnage Tyrant that's uncounterable. I know it's not like hasty or anything because we don't have Rhythm out. Yeah, I think they had that Tristani last turn, but they kept up. Um. I think they're keeping up Frilled Mystic. <laughs> wow, they just went to one? Man, maybe I should have attacked that Sunwing also. All right, four and one. We are going on to the final boss. Turns out whenever Deafening Clarion kills eight creatures and cycles, that's pretty good. The old kill eight creatures cycle. Not bad, not bad. All right, are y'all ready for this? Oh, also, yeah, also gained five life, too. All right, y'all ready for the final boss? Let's see if we can get to our five win. Love it. Turn to rhythm. Ooh, we got a real strong hand here. No, Honor Guard does not stop Riot.
Uh, obviously, the final boss is Soltai or Golgari, whichever one. Our toughest matchup. Our only loss. Do have turn two rhythm though. Like our, our hand's strong. Strong hand, strong curve. I can either play Ripjaw next turn, which is what I think I'm gonna do. But we could also just go Thunder Herd, Land War Elf, and try to Carnage Tyrant the following turn. This is the uh, Maybe I do just Thunder Herd, Land War Elf. Yeah, let's Thunder Herd, Land War Elf. And I'm going to just pay the extra one here. Not even give my opponent any information about that. Get a nice 2 2 Land War Elf. This is the boss music in Final Fantasy VII. Are we going counter on Tyrant or attack in? Oh gosh. Hmm. I'm going to go counter. Tradesies. Hmm. Tough decisions whether to trade here or not. So we go down to 10 if we don't block. Shocking can put us down to like 8. And block. No, that's the same, Matthew. No, the counter. I don't want the wild growth and the jade light right now. Would have been able to trade with the. Uh, Carnage Tyrant, and we're not really in, a, in an attacking um, scenario. Well, I'm glad I blocked the 2 1 now. Soul time matchup is so bad. Do you think it would be worth playing Honor Guard in our own sideboard? Yeah, yeah, that that could be worth it. I'm not sure. If, I don't know if it's the Explorer that kills us though. I'm not sure if that's what makes it a bad matchup. So we'll give them one card, you know, or I mean two cards. Like we got to get the Midnight Reapers out of here. So that gets them two cards and I'm not getting them other, like those other ones. I'm not going to let get them two cards also.
Of course, they can. No, we we couldn't tr triple trade there. If we if we blocked all three, they would draw six cards. I, c I couldn't let them draw six cards. Like we just we just can't let them have six cards. At least these things only these creatures only cycle now with Midnight Reaper in play. All right, awesome, Jason. Made made nine of diamonds deck last night based on the one that we had before. Cool. So we go to three. I think we can go to three. I could see a find finality on our opponent's end though, actually, now that I think about it. That could have been a really bad block. Yup. Did not consider that before for some reason. When I was blocking, I was not considering that for some reason. But then after blocking, I then considered that. Hmm. Can't even cast this. We're one mana off. Cost 10. We have 9. Yeah, that was a bad block. Uh, I should have just had my... I should have just had the 3-3 three, three block. Like, I should not have blocked with the Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, definitely ended up being a bad block. Alright, need all the coils. Keep one Clarion in. Bronze out. Two Clarion. Cut a migration. One Clarion. Okay, I like how Colossus's just target creature gets plus four, plus two. And so we can cast it during a finality and stuff also. I'm going to Spy Glass for Vivian. I don't like binding against... Golgari too much. <clears throat> uh, thanks, J-Jack. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, we have a turn two, turn three play. Let's try to... Try to draw our creatures after this rhythm here. Yeah, I expect them to have Vivian in their deck. I don't I don't think it's like a side in Vivian. I, I just expect them to have Vivians in their deck, which is why I have the spy glass here. Hey Vladimus. Today's going pretty good. We've had a lot of new decks to play, so we've had like seen like some some new interactions with cards and everything. Uh, which is always good. And Huh. And I've been enjoying it. So if you think my hand's sketchy, wait till you see our opponent's hand. <laughs> the thing is, we're only a 23 land deck. 
So, and I boarded out the migration. So, it's not super likely that we draw more lands. You know, we just drew a land there, but you know, we're only playing 23. So that's already six. That's already seven. So there's only there's only 16 more out of the 50. So 32% chance right now of drawing a land. I'm going counter to stay above finality, right? Or do I just hit him for seven? Nah, just hit him for seven. It did die anyway, but at least our opponent let us attack with the 3 3. Hope one of those cards in their hands of Vivian. Maybe both of them. So we need with the spyglass with Vivian Reed. Alright, 15 lands left in the deck. That's all we got. Hey, Mass. 14 lands left in the deck. So after keeping five, we've drawn five more. We've drawn four more. Four out of six draws. There we go. Hmm. Well. All right, thir 13 lands left in the deck. Plus we know one's at the bottom. So there's 12 left out of the 41 cards we don't know about. All right, big beefy land where else? Three, four. All right, eleven lands left. Yeah, I'm not sure why they blocked with the land wolf there, or like the uh, sorry, the wild growth walker. I don't think that was necessarily a good block. Ooh, stop. Uh, I guess they get to kill my rhythm of the wild. Our Naya Dinosaur's deck's done pretty good. I mean, we're we're four and one. We've gotten fortunate for sure a few times, but yeah, because that's eleven, and then that's the twelfth land. So there are eleven. So that's over half of our lands. That's twelve out of twenty-three. Ooh, the, we still got the counter. Okay. Yeah, because it's put a counter and then it fights target creature. Yeah, we still got the counter. Very nice. Our land war elf's tougher than your land war elf. It's true, another land. Oh boy. For the two decks, the spell to land ratio in that game, not impressive. Not impressive at all. All right, so they're playing Thrashing Brontodon. Certainly makes my enchantments a little worse. 
Maybe we just don't need the spyglass. I think I still want to play rhythm. Is how good rhythm is. I kind of like Clarion on the draw a little more than Clarion on the play. So we'll cut the Spyglass for a Clarion. Yeah, this has been a real long league. We've gone to like three games basically every time. This game, neither of us are going to hit our third land drop here. We're both going to keep two landers. Nobody's going to get a third land drop. We're going to be like, where's all these lands? Like, I'm, you know, I'm keeping my two lander. Uh, why do you have to have land or elf? I have land or elf. Sunwing is, is okay. Um. Yeah, like I, I could certainly see playing Sunwing. It, it's not. It doesn't attack for. Doesn't hit very hard. Uh, you know, and usually like they can outrace it, kind of thing. But it does. Um. You know, it does does help out our haste creatures and everything. It's also a creature that. They get to kill with Vivian. Ugh. Ugh. I think I want a Death Gorge Scavenger plus Lanwar Elf. Yeah, like I want to play a Lanwar Elf. Worst possible card for us to see. I brought in all the lava coils, right? I did that, right? At least they let me block first. Alright, Ripjaw. Playing Ripjaw over Carnage Tyrant, even though Ripjaw can die to a removal spell because um, if they want to attack in for this Midnight Reaper, oh dang it, we'd be able to draw cards with it. Can't even play this Carnage Tyrant. If I play the Carnage Tyrant, I'm just dead. Gotta have our blockers. This is so sad. Oh, that was a sad, sad game. I was thinking, you know, just hopefully they don't have Midnight Reaper. They did. And then they used the removal spell when they did. And I was like, okay, well, hopefully that's their only removal spell. So this Ripjaw Raptor gets to, you know, draw us a bunch of cards and take over. All right, we got a new Mythic, though. 
A Dovin. Hey, that's a good card. Alright, that's a good league. Got our 700 gold extra and our Dovin. Yeah, both of those both those games we lost um, were really just looked the exact same of our opponent just having Wow Growth Walker, a bunch of explorers, and then the Midnight Reapers to refill their hand. You know, like that's that's a great combination. Uh, you know, we didn't have the the coil to kill the Midnight Reaper, and couldn't handle like the pressure from the three twos. Basically, just death by three twos. To have in both of those games. But yeah, our, our deck was pretty cool. I liked I liked Rhythm of the Wild a ton in this deck. It was really powerful. Domri was not good. Uh, yeah, Domri would have certainly been a lot better as Vivian. But, you know, we knew that going in. And Vivian's just a much stronger card. Um, but we got to play Domri, and so that was cool. We did get to ride a couple creatures. There was one turn where we got to minus and get uh, two Regisaur Alphas, which was incredible. Uh, that was awesome. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Rhythm of the Wild did look strong. I liked that. Thunderherd wasn't too good because we flooded out just a ton. Like, we, we really flooded out a lot. So I guess with the 23 lands and four Thunderherds, it's basically like 27. And that was that was kind of tough. I think I'd rather just have the Lava Coils, like, in the main. I mean, I, I guess I have, I have a, a Naya Dinosaur deck myself. Um, before this doesn't have rhythm because it doesn't have anything before, but I didn't have Lanowar Elf because of the Clarion Lanowar Elf. I had like Treasure Map, um, but I was the same thing with Thunderherd Migration to to kind of speed up without Lanowar Elf, um, and then I was Treasure Mapping. But I think that the rhythm playing rhythm in the deck uh, does kind of want make you want to play Lanowar Elf more because Lanowar Elf was nice with rhythm. So, yeah, but then I, I have Takali Honor Guards in my sideboard. It's the same with, like, Wakening Sun to kill all those things. But, of course, it's easier to cast Wakening Sun when you're treasure mapping and uh, ramping with treasure map, though, also. But there we go. Cool. All right, Naya Dinosaurs. Still good league, 4-2. And we got a Dovin also. So, all right, if you're watching this video over on YouTube... Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.